Hey guys, welcome back to problem uh, two from the fundamentals of chapter six. All right, so let's keep going with this now that we've built some momentum with the last problem. All right, so to find the force in each member of this truss, okay, the first thing that we usually do is find the reaction forces, right? So we find the reaction forces here at B and A, okay? One thing that you can do, you can kind of cheat on this one, you can look at D, okay? So I'll sh I guess I'll show you this way. So if I look at joint, uh, joint D, okay? I have D right here. I have my force of 300 pounds, right? I have member DA or AD going this way, so I'm drawing it in tension, okay? And um, then I have member DC in this direction, okay? DC. All right. All right, if you guys hear any funny sounds, it's my medicine ball that I'm sitting on. Okay, so this is pretty easy to do, right? First, we want to find this angle here. Okay, so uh, let's see, we have a four, three, okay? So we have a three, four, five triangle, okay? So we know that this angle here is going to be, trying to draw it all sneaky here, four, three, five, okay? And we know this because of this, so this total base is four, this height is three, so we know the hypotenuse is five. So we have one of those uh, special right triangles. All right, so with that being said, let's get on with solving this one. So forces in the Y, okay? Uh, let's see, in the Y direction, I have three fifths DC minus 300 pounds, okay? Uh, that gives me DC is 300 times five divided by three, 500 pounds. All right. Oh yeah, and so DC, I got a positive result, so, and I drew it in tension, so that's correct, so it is in tension. So now forces in the X direction. Now forces in the X, let's see, we have the X component of DC, so it's gonna be 500, positive, four fifths plus AD equals zero. Okay, so we have a D is minus 400 pounds, okay, which is actually 400 pounds in compression. Okay, so notice how I, 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 I'm using this one for my calculations, but when I, for the results, this is what we have, okay. All right, so now let's look at our, our figure. So we have DC and we have DA, all right? Now where to, where to? So let's look at joint C, okay? Joint C, so let's do it here. Joint C. Okay. Um, all right, so joint C is going to be like this. So we have C right here. We have CD, right? We already found CD, DC, all right, in tension. So 500 pounds. Then we have BC coinciding with that, with the same, you know, collinear 
all right so I'm gonna set up my what I'm gonna do is say okay this is going to be my x-axis now and this will be the y-axis okay that way I don't have to do any components for these all right and the only one that I have to do it for is CA so CA is going in some weird direction like this okay all right um, so let's see for CA okay so it's not entirely okay let me just draw it a little different let's draw it a little more like this so this is CA all right it's it's not entirely in the y direction okay so now if I if I were to find this theta this angle okay which you can from all this the geometry given you'll be able to find that angle and then break your force into CAX CAY okay but what happens think about the zero force members that we talked about in the previous problem if I have if I sum all the forces in the Y I only have the I guess the negative CA um, cosine theta equals zero okay which tells me that CA is actually a zero force member okay doesn't carry any force all right so if you don't if you don't follow that look at this diagram okay figure out the angle and then sum the forces in the y and sum the forces in the x and you should find that ca has to be zero okay now if we do forces in the x right this is zero so that, that's gone we have minus 500 plus bc equals zero and then bc i drew it in tension as well so i get a positive so that is actually in tension. Okay. So now going back to this, I have CB and I figured out CA. Okay. Now let's so let's look at the last one. And with this one we what I would recommend, there's two ways of doing it. One, one of the ways is the first thing, find the reaction forces first and then analyze A. We're going to do it without having to do that. Okay, so at A, right, I have AD. So AD we already found. And look, I'm going to draw it in compression. So 400 pounds in compression. Okay, because that's what we obtained in the first joint. Okay. Technically, I have CA. Like if we had done a naive computation. Okay. But we know CA is zero. So I'm not going to include it. Okay. Then I have BA. Okay. And then what kind of reaction force does A have? Does it have... AX and AY, or does it just have one of those two? And your answer should be, in this case, it would only have, you know, a reaction force in the X direction. So let's look at, if we were to draw these reaction forces, I know it has a roller here, so I'm going to draw a reaction force in that direction. And I have a BY here and a BX, okay? So we should just get an AX in this case. So we look at the Y equation here, right? I get that BA is zero. So we have two zero force members, okay? And then that's it. And then so the only forces, the only members that carry forces were DC, tension, 500. AD was in compression, 400 pounds. BC was in tension, and the other two members were just zero force members. Okay, 
I hope you're able to follow this. If you have questions, comments, concerns, just uh, drop a message below. Um, I'd be happy to answer. Okay. Uh, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Take it easy.